A homeowner fights back, shooting and killing a would-be burglar. Police say she shot and killed the teenage thief while he was climbing out of her window. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live at the scene with the latest. Gabby. Vanessa, neighbors tell me that this home has been burglarized in the past, which is why the homeowner set up these surveillance cameras. Detectives say the security system actually alerted the homeowner of the break-in last night. We did get a chance to speak with the sister and the cousin of the young man who was killed, and they say they don't understand why that homeowner had to take matters into her own hands instead of waiting for police. I don't care if she have her gun license, her rights, or any of that. That is um, way beyond the law, way beyond. Relatives of 17-year-old Trayvon Johnson are angry. The teenager was shot and killed last night by a homeowner who police say was protecting her property. He was not supposed to die like this. He had a future ahead of him. Trayvon had goals. He was a very funny guy. He was very big on education. He loved going to school. He loved learning. Last night, Miami-Dade police say the D.A. Dorsey Technical College student burglarized a home south of 79th Street near I-95, just blocks away from where he lives. Detectives say the 54-year-old homeowner was alerted of the break-in by her security system. With officers already on their way, she rushed home to check things out, and police say she was armed. She observed a subject exiting the home through the rear. According to detectives, there was a confrontation and one shot was fired. Johnson was pronounced dead at the hospital. Hey, what's wrong with her? She did not have to shoot him. There's no reason that she should have waited until after he walked out the yard to if try to shoot him. If she called the police like... already, then why would she shoot him? Relatives say they don't believe Johnson stole anything from the home, but detectives would not confirm that. You have to understand, you have to look at it from every um, child's point of view that was raised in the hood. How he going to get his, his money to have clothes to go to school? While the investigation continues into whether the shooting was justified or not, Detectives want to remind the public that, if possible, it's best not to take these types of situations into your own hands. If there's any type of situation that happens or they believe uh, there's a burglary at their home or any type of confrontation, dial 911. Have the police go out and make that confrontation. That's what we're here for. And police say the homeowner is cooperating. She was taken in for questioning last night, but so far no charges have been filed against her. We're told that the state attorney's office is still reviewing the case. Live from Northwest Miami-Dade, Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.